Right, so. Oh. Hello, YouTube Retro Chef here. It's been. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's been a couple of weeks, months, whatever it's been. I'm just sitting here on the weekend of Arsenal getting absolutely murdered by Brighton 2 1. Yesterday was Doncaster. Just tell you, I've got this camera sorted out. But just do the blind one second. Oh! Right, I'm in the living room, lounge, Carl, I don't know what you want to call it, mate. The TV room, the front room, whatever. I'm good. You can see my bird. You can see my dory. I'll show you her later. Right, so this is. Yeah, guys, hope everyone is well. It's been a very long time since I've been on the old tube. I was going to go out into the shed, <coughs> slash man cave, but um, it's been snowing, we've had all sorts of weather, I haven't been able to go out there properly. <coughs> um, yeah, I'm just, the arsehole's shocking mate, that'd be a sight. Anyway, yeah, so I hope everyone's good, everyone's had a good Christmas, I hope Doncaster was good for the people who did get there. I was messaging Tootie and whatnot, and he said he had a good time, sold a few bits, bought a few bits, so that was great. Um, I would have gone, um, I would have gone, uh, weather was crap, and to be honest with you, um, I wasn't really feeling driving uh, in the weather it was. We had bad weather around in Essex, um, so... It's melted now, we're now Sunday, it's all melted due to the rain. Uh, I bought myself a new car before Christmas, so I was looking forward to the actual driving up there with a few of the boys, but it ended up not working out, but you know, it's always the next one. Um, it seemed really early Doncaster this year, I don't know if I went, was it this time last year I went? I can't even remember when I went with uh, Scott and Peter, I'm trying to remember. It must have been the same, around about the same time, but... Anyway, not a problem. Um, so yeah, I had a great Christmas, uh, New Year and all that kind of stuff was great. Um, the little man, the old um, foster boy is getting on well. Uh, he's, <laughs> he's doing really good, so that's great. So yeah, so this is just my Christmas, during Christmas, after Christmas. Oh, I'm warming this ass. After Christmas, during Christmas, pickups. Um, Trying to think, we've got a bit of so my Christmas pickups. We've got a little bit of eBay, a little bit of CX, an Argos pickup thanks to a tuba, some Face Bay, as I call it, or the Facebook pages. So, yeah, so what I'm going to do first, I'm going to show my Christmas pickups, those because say it's been bloody for ages. Oh, Arsenal. <laughs> so, my Christmas pickups was mainly. Um, a lot of switch stuff to be fair um, I want to show my, my missus sorry my sister-in-law got me this one uh, the Xenoblade, I don't know if you can get the glare the Xenoblade Chronicles uh, 2 which I've been playing, that side might be better I've been playing this, this game's awesome um, I didn't really get on well with the first one I don't know what you guys thought um, the first one was I found it hard to get into to be honest with you um, I felt it kind of expected you to know more than what you should have. You walked in the game and it was a bit, I don't know. It was, when you like, you pick up Zelda or you pick up Mario, you, you're in it straight away, you know exactly what to do, da -da 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 -da, you know, it wasn't really a problem. <laughs> um, her name's Dory, by the way. She's a double yellow-headed, double yellow-headed Amazon. She's only one years old, bless her. But she talks, she swears in Turkish, it's quite funny. She swears at me quite a lot in Turkish. Uh, she says other stuff as well. <clears throat> so yeah, so I'm really enjoying number two compared to the first one. Um, so I'm, like I said, I'm in it about an hour, maybe not even that. It's already it's kind of gripped me to be fair to you. Um, still playing Zelda. Completed it three or four times. I'm only at 25% game completion, which is kind of worrying because I've done I've done so much stuff already. I downloaded the new content, so um, the Champions, what was it, the Champions DLC and a few other bits, so I've got a few bit more to do, but that, that game's awesome, I mean obviously, you know, I've been playing that for ages now, but I can't get off that game, you know, but Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is pretty good, um, next one, 
My missus got this for me. It's Fire Emblem Warriors. Um, I think a lot of people got this one. Uh, it's special edition. It's got the soundtrack and some cards and stuff. Um, I'm enjoying this. It's just like uh, Hyrule Warriors or one of the Dynasty Warriors games. So it's pretty good. Hack and slash. Um, I've only I've only played this for about an hour, an hour and a half, but that's pretty cool. That's, I mean, I'm enjoying it, but not as much as Xenoblade, to be fair. So yeah, so Xenoblade, obviously, that's the box. I think there's a steel book in there as well. Um, I don't know about Fire. Is there, is there a steel book in Fire Emblem? Uh, I can't remember. But that's Fire Emblem, which is it's good. It's you know it's not bad. Um, and then my missus also got me, so that was, my missus got me Fire Emblem, I can't even say the name, Fire Emblem, Emblem, whatever, she bought me Mar <laughs> Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle, I haven't actually played this yet, I've been playing the other games pretty much, um, my mother-in-law bought me Ultra Street Fighter, which is pretty cool, I don't know if you've played that one or not, that's a pretty cool game, uh, also got a Joy-Con charger. Uh, it was $29.99, I think, in the Christmas sales. It was a bit cheaper. I think I've got my missus got me that as well. She also bought me this for Christmas. Xenoblade Chronicle 2 controller, which I have not used yet. Um, I will do, but I haven't used it yet. And then my missus got me Road Rage which is pretty shit, if I'm honest with you. I was hoping it'd be good. Um, it's, I can't get on with it. I don't know if you can see, there's a lot of glare, so I hope you can see that. Um, my sister-in-law got me this as well, Assassin's Creed Origins, which I've only played it for about an hour and a half, and I can't... I enjoy, Assassin's Creed 2 and all the Ezio, one, Ezio ones I love dearly. So that one, I don't know if you can see that because the glare's a bit shit in it. I don't know if that one, I've started it but I'm not too sure about it. And then my mother-in-law got me this, I asked for this. Um, this was old new stock because it was sealed when I got it. And it is Mighty 9. Um, I wanted it on the Wii U actually to be fair. I got it on the PS4, but I wanted it on the Wii U so I got that. That was like next to nothing as well. So that was me... My Christmas, was that all my, my Christmas bits? Um, I'm just trying to see. Oh, I've got like, my missus bought me this because she was sick of me playing the game, the console and leaving it out. It's a little pouch for it. So, oh, the camera's gone fine. I don't, know if, I don't know if it's the light or what. Let me, let me turn the big light on. Let me turn the big light on. Let's turn the big light on. See if it makes any difference. Probably no. <sighs> Is it better? Is it worse? No? I don't know, the camera seems, this camera seems a bit mad today. I don't know if it's me. No? Is it coming on? I don't know if it's the camera or the light. So, we'll see what happens anyway. I have to cut that out. I don't know if it's because it's dark and light in here at the same time, it's kind of getting rid of this bit, oh, that's better. So that's all my Christmassy bits. Um, and then, right, where shall I go next? That is eBay. We're going to go CEX first. CEX, uh, I was in the shop and I saw these and I thought, you know, I'm going to grab them. I think they want, I can't remember exactly how much it was now, but this is a pretty new game. I haven't seen it much around, so I grabbed it. And it is uh, Attack on Titans. Not played it much as of yet, but you know, I'll give it a go. I can't remember which that was now. I think that was 20 quid, something like that. Tiny Toons, this is actually really good on the on the uh, NES. I think that was a tenner. RC Pro Am, I think this was £8 or £10 as well. So I picked that up. Um, is that all the CX? That's. Yeah, that's all CEX. Uh, two off my friend from work. I can't remember what I gave him there. Uh, Wolf Child. Wolf Child and Star Wars Rebel Sort, both complete. 
Thank you, Michael. Balance it on the chair next to me. A little bit of Evil Bay. Uh, buy it now. I think this was like 40 quid or 30 or 29.99. Sunset Riders NTSC. Cart only, but I don't mind. Prefer the NTSC games, if I'm honest with you. Playing them on the Retron, which is in here. Pretty cool. Um, oh, I got this. Um, was it? Was it you, Stevie Richards? Mr. Retro on him, I think he messaged about these and I got this from Argos for like like six pound delivered, something like that, or eight pound delivered. Uh, it's a turbo controller. Free delivery. Um, it's got three meter cable and it works on the, the Super NES Mini and the normal NES. Um, I've already got an extension lead, but this is pretty cool. I think I've heard some rumours that the wireless one's not very good. I think, was it someone I know, someone told me? I think someone told me they've got one, it's not very good, the wireless one, so I thought, you know what, I'll get another controller, and that was, I think, 6 99 or £8 delivered, something like that. It wasn't really expensive from Argos. So yeah, that was pretty cool. Charity shop, charity shop, charity shop. This was all, pretty much all charity shop, panned or whatever, whatever. Um, I think they're like £1 or £2, like such cheap, anyways I bought them. Uh, they're all complete, some I need, some I'm going to take straight to CX when I get a chance. Nintendo Land, I think that was a pound or £2, pretty cool. I bought this um, purely because I wanted to get a few HD DVDs, so Transformers, I think that was a pound. Uh, this was definitely a pound, Naruto Ultimate Ninja. I only bought this because it was a pants. Um, I'm not really into these games, as you guys know. I don't really normally buy them, but I thought, you know what, for a pants. I had a little play of it. It's not bad. FIFA 17. If you can see that, give it a glare. Uh, next one. Again, these were all panned each. These were from Cherry Shops, and I think Cash Converter is a bit of a mixture, really. I can't really tell exactly when, uh, which ones they're from. Uh, Star Trek. I've had some mixed reviews about this. So I thought, you know what, I'll grab it for a pants. Uh, this one, I thought I had it, and I'm lucky enough I bought it, and I haven't got it. I'm not sure if it's any good, but it's sore. Uh, next one, I can't believe I never had this. And I bought it, and I thought, you know what, I must have this, but I haven't. And I started playing it, and it's pretty good. It's not bad. It's Metal Gear Rising, uh, re, re Vengeance. Again, all complete. You can see that would be a glare from the telly. Last two, literally going to go straight to CEX, not complete, I'm not fussed, I think they fetch about £10 or £9 exchange, pound each, so, Bully, which is a great game, and Call of Duty Black Ops 2, they're going to go straight to CEX, um, where are we, 13 minutes, I know I'm rushing this a little bit, because I'm, I'm wary now of doing a couple of longer vids, you know, because I know people not always like the longer vids, um, I've got a little bit of, so this, these are off Facebay, um, where's the, where's the box for that one, where it is, um, someone was selling pretty much their collection of PS4 games and some of them were sealed and I've opened them now, um, and I paid £20 for these two, so I thought you know what, I'll grab it, not played it yet, but it's the last Guardian, you see, <laughs> throw it at the camera, um, it is sealed. You can see that. I will open it. I will play it. There we go. So yeah, um, I'm trying to think who was planning. Was it Scott? You Scott were planning this before? I'm going to give it a whirl. I thought you know what for a, basically for a tenner. The other one um, I bought. It's a special edition uh, of Little Nightmares. Uh, this is not bad. It's, it's got a little like a little toy, like a little figure in there. That's a pretty good guy, I'm really enjoying that actually, it's a little bit different. Um, that was sealed as well, so those two for £20, I was like, sweet. These two I picked up during Christmas and I was like, yeah. Uh, this is off Face Bay as well, these were like £20 for the pair. Uh, first one is Street Fighter V. Um, yeah, I haven't, I haven't actually played it yet. Second one, my daughter wanted this and 
I'm trying to only get Xbox One exclusive games. I believe this is now going to come out on the PS4 and the Switch. So, but either way, it's only out on here on the Xbox One for now. And it's Hello Neighbor. I've heard some mixed reviews about this. My daughter's been talking about it to me. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd give it a go. What, what, it's a seven. Because I wasn't sure if it was a fifteen. Because it sounds pretty scary, to be honest with you. In a stealth horror game about sneaking into your neighbour's house to figure out what secrets is hiding in the basement. So, it's, 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 a, it's a Peggy 7. I thought it would be high, but my daughter wants to play. My, my little one, Sammy, she wants to play. So, yeah, that's cool. Ah, I'll tell you what, I couldn't show this. I got this during Christmas. Um, I got this for like £15. I grabbed it purely because of the way Walking Dead's going. Um, I thought I'd just grab it now. I haven't actually got this myself, as in before now, this is the, kind of makes no sense. I bought this, I've never had this before, so I bought it. It's Walking Dead, it's the first appearance of Shiva and uh, the King, the King Ezekiel. I thought I'd grab that, I think that was 15 quid. I mean, the way Walking Dead's going, all that kind of stuff's going to go up. I've got quite a few of the comics already in the book, so I thought, you know what, why not? Last little bits, and then I think we're done. I'm literally, I'm throwing this video out. I thought I just wanted to catch up. Um, I can't remember what I paid for these now. Off my good friend Rob, Rob Whitacombe. Um I met him through my mate Lee, who I bought some stuff off Lee as well. Um, literally, I needed one of the games for definite. This one I couldn't remember, I'm still not checked. But I thought, you know what, for the price I'll take him. I think he charged me. Was it £20, Rob? I think it was £20 for the pair and I took it. Uh, one is called Cthulhu, or Cthulhu, Dark Corners of the Earth. I'm not sure if I've got that, but it's complete. So, I thought I'd take it some good nick. This one I haven't got um, on the Cube. I think I've got it on the PS2. Uh, Samurai Jack. Obviously the new series came out earlier, no, came out last year, uh, which I haven't finished yet. So I'm looking forward to finishing that. So that's, com that's complete as well. So I thought I'll take that. So thank you, Rob. You're a legend. I, got, I know you've got something else for me, which I will get off you. Um, I won't say anything about it as yet. Uh, I haven't had a chance for me, to be fair, with the weather and whatnot. Just totally forgot about it. Last little bit. Is it the best for last? Um, well, whatever, anyway, whatever. So my mate Lee, over Christmas, before Christmas, I think it was, um, messaged me and said he's... No, did he message me? No, I'll tell you what it was. I went on his, face, his eBay page, selling page. I always see what he's got, or he lets me know. And he had these games up for like, I think 40 quid each, or something like that. 30 quid each? No, not 30 quid. I think it was 40 quid each. They gave him a cheeky bit of £100 for free. Um, I've got one of them, uh, but my one... Is not in this good condition. I've now since sold my one. Uh, did, I, who did I sell it to? I think one of my, one of my pals was. I think I have a CEX on one of my friends. I can't remember now, but either way, it's gone. Uh, it wasn't in good condition this one, so I thought, you know what, that's good because I'm claw back a little bit of money. Um, some say they're the best Street Fighter conversions on the Dreamcast. Uh, I'm not quite sure because I haven't played them all, but either way, I think they're great. All complete. I've got Street Fighter Third Strike. Street Fighter 3 Double Impact, so get all complete, and a Street Fighter Alpha 3. I prefer the Alphas really, to be fair, to be fair out of all of them. Um, well, that's stacked up. Um, so yeah, nice one to leave. I think that's it. I was going to get my, my bird out to show you properly Dory, but she's eating. I'm going to try and get her out. Let's see, let's see if she'll come out. Hello Dory. Hello. Come on, step up. No, she's she's eating. She's not. She was gonna come. I've left the door open. Is he get, get a little bit closer? Where is she? Where have you gone? I can't even get the camera straight. Let me turn. Let me turn the viewfinder around. Let's have a look. Hello. Hello.
Nah, I don't think she's gonna come out. I don't think she's gonna come out. Oh. Oh. We got a rabbit as well, by the way. The rabbit over in the other part of the living room. Yeah, she's not, she's eating. But anyway, yeah, I thought I, I thought I'd show you the bird, the broody. Oh. <clears throat> right, that is it. Literally 20 minutes. That's, that is the rabbit again. Uh, 20 minutes, I managed to throw that video out. I'm quite happy. <laughs> uh, Arsenal's still losing. So I hope everyone's good. I hope everyone had a good time at Doncaster. I was hoping to do more this year. Um, you know, gaming stuff, but she's been busy, busy at work. Life's been busy. Been catching up on YouTube. I haven't watched many, many people. To be fair, I've been watching 2E. Um, you know, some stuff I've recently I've been watching. I'm not quite sure who else I've, who else have I been watching. I was watching, um, <laughs> obviously Nintendo Arcade. Alex, Alex, hope you're good. Obviously, two, hope you're good. I was watching. What's he? Oh, my well, name has gone out of my bloody brain. Snazzastic Pete. That's it. But I saw a post the other day that he's selling his stuff off because he he had he was getting his collection back in, which was cool because. He was only going for 16-bit stuff, which is, you know, obviously the era that I was mainly in. I mainly remember more 16-bit. Obviously, I had 8-bit stuff, and I've still got my 8-bit stuff, but more of the SNES and Mega Drive stuff I had more of a nostalgic for because I was a bit of the age where I was collecting it more. So, yeah, that's cool. Uh, so, that, yeah, so that wasn't, because it's not quite bad. So, I've seen that he's selling some stuff. I'm not quite sure if it's true or not, as in if he's selling all his stuff. Um, hello, Dory. Nah, she, she, she's, you can see her, she's right, she's, she, where are we, where's my hand? She's dead. But she's not having it. She's camera shy. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm trying to think what else now. What else have I been up to? Watching loads of TV to be fair, like when I saw Black Panther, which was pretty cool. Um, I've been watching a TV program called Mr. Mercedes, a Stephen King adaptation into a TV program. My t on my Cody, because it's not over here yet. I've been watching Curse of Oak Island. I don't know if you guys watched that. Obviously, Walking Dead. Um, excuse me, what else have I watched? Hello? She's talking now. Um, yeah, um, I'm trying to think what else I've watched. Loads of stuff. You know what it's like. You're going to come out now? Come on in. Come on. Step up. Oh, she's, yeah, she's gonna come out. Hello. <laughs> Look, here we are. Here she is. Hello, Dory. Hello, step up. No, step up. She's there. Look. Oh no, she, I think she, th oh, that's the door over. <laughs> I think she thinks it's like, um, I think she thinks there's something's gonna hurt her. Come on! Come on, step up! No, come on. Hello! No. Oh, she's not having it. <coughs> I think she got a bit scared of the camera. She probably thought was something's gonna hurt her, you know what I mean? She's up there now. She's up in there. On top of the coats. She's looking around. No! Alright, I tried to get her out to show you properly, but she's still a little bit nervous. She says she's one years old. Um, apparently they live till they're 50. They can live to over the 50 years old, so I'm 35. So if she lives for 50 years, I'll be 85 years old. And she'll be still going, bless her, if she can. You know what I mean? And she'll be swearing at me still, when it, even when I'm 85. Mm. She's up in there. Can you see her? She's over the back. I think she's scared of the camera, to be fair. She's not really quite sure, is she? That's all right. Right guys, thanks for watching. Hope everyone is good. Um, quick video, just my grabs for Christmas and obviously be, uh, Christmas, be, you know, before Christmas, a couple of bits. I'll let you know I'm still alive. You know, my content's obviously not been very, not been a lot as late, but I'm gonna try and get back in the swing. Car boot season's starting soon. There was meant to be one today, locally to me, but I'm guessing, I'm guessing it was off due to the snow and you know, all that kind of stuff. So, not a massive problem. Uh, I think the car boot starts end of the month, March time for me again with my friend Phil. Phil, hope you're a good fella. 
Um, and that's it boys and girls. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all again soon. Bye bye.